how internet works so what do you imagine when you hear the word internet maybe facebook youtube tinder or google you would be surprised to know that the internet is more than just websites chatting videos and live ipl game broadcasts in this video we will know what defines the internet and how it actually works so tie your seat belt and let us go on a journey to understand how it all started the internet was coined in the year 1983 during that time most of the communication happened through analog or digital signals and computers were the size of a room with the advent of more sophisticated technologies cheaper raw materials and human perseverance we were able to make a dent into the way the world communicates which we know now as the internet when two computers need to interact they must be physically connected typically with an ethernet connection or wirelessly connected for example with wifi or bluetooth systems any of those connections can be sustained by any current computer the internet is known to be the web's backbone in a generic light the internet is a huge network of computers that are connected with one another a network like this is unrestricted to just two pcs you have the option of connecting as many computers as you like however it quickly becomes difficult if you want to connect 10 pcs for example you'll need 45 cables each having 9 plugs each computer on a network is connected to a router which is a small computer that solves this problem this router just has one job it ensures that a message transmitted from one computer actually reaches the correct target computer much like a signaler at a train station according to statista there are about 25.5 billion interconnected devices there is a computer in some parts of south america that contains the website created in the philippines of course a single router can't scale that far but we have stated that a router is a computer just like any other so what's stopping us from connecting two routers nothing so let's do that we can scale indefinitely by connecting computers to routers then routers to routers but because running cables between your residence and the rest of the world isn't feasible how will you deal with this electric power and telephone lines for example are already connected to your home the telephone system already connects your home to anybody in the world making it the ideal cable for our purposes a particular piece of equipment known as a modem is required to link our network to the telephone infrastructure this modem converts data from our network into data that can be managed by telephone infrastructure and vice versa as a result we are connected to the telephone network and the next stage is to deliver messages from our network to the destination network we'll do this by connecting our network to an internet service provider 